Jeff Decker, I'm a sculptor. I sculpted the racing motorcycles like that um, with Harley Davidson. Known Billy um, for a long time. We used to set up when these rallies were huge, and um, went away for a while. When we came back, he was he was he was really interested in um, antique motorcycles, and so we connected even more. And um, I like to collect old racers, so I came out in uh, December, and we ran his Mac and a few other bikes, a few laps, and uh, I just want to support this thing and see it take off. I've always liked the early board track racing, and um, the board track racing, you know, that type of track doesn't lend itself to, to modern use, as do these tires that are, um, you know, look like, they look authentic, but they're, you know, not great for competition. But um, that early stuff, the early, when, when the motorcycle was a novel and new invention, um, racing came, you know, right from the beginning, and that's what pushed innovation from the very beginning. But racing is nice because it's pure and, and the aesthetic lends itself more to a real purpose, not peacocking. And so I really like, I, I've always liked racing better than I do like customs and stuff. How did you, uh, so how, how did you meet Billy? Really? Like how, what's your relationship or that's just a question? Well, there was, when, when the whole TV thing exploded and that, it seemed like, you know, Jesse and Billy and those guys would all show up at these rallies, like this rally and Sturgis and stuff. And and being licensed by Harley Davidson, I would go to these events and set up my wares. And we would always be there, you know, a day before the event or a day after breaking down. So it was kind of a small group of us that would end up at the sleepy part of the rally, and we formed kind of a small community. And and then Billy really started getting into the older stuff later on, and that drew us closer together. And um, so I think that's probably where we met. It's just at one of these rallies, you know. Um, I think I did my first sculpture in '94 or something like that. So you sculpted board track racers and stuff like that. From the get-go, yeah. My my first deal was to do like um, Man's Quest for Speed. So I was going to do like a um, I, did, I did a boat and a car, and then I was going to do a motorcycle. And I was going to do a plane, and then when I got to the motorcycle, I just kind of gave the whole idea up and went, no, I need to focus on just this. Um, the, the, the aesthetics of the motorcycle work because, you know, it's a monkey on a stick. It's, it's all human anatomy, and he's there. When, when you put him in any other race vehicle, if it's a boat, if it's a plane, if it's a car, they're all stuffed into a cockpit. So the anatomy is kind of like a little Lego man, you know. You get, like, maybe arms, or you mit something behind a windshield or in a roll cage, but it's just not there. So it's really just a big model toy. But the, the motorcycle is, you know, it's, it's the mechanic and the organic at a pretty good 50-50 ratio. So it's just made for a stronger subject for me. How did you, uh, when did you start, when did you become the, the official sculptor for Harley and how did that happen? Um, I, probably, I don't know, a decade ago or maybe 15 years ago. Um, I think it came about because uh, Willie G. Davidson's family, his, his wife and his kids would buy my sculptures for like, you know, his birthday or an anniversary or something like that. And, um, and then they had, a, they had a gallery that they had licensed for their prints and things like that, but the artists that were under that canopy were, it was kind of the gallery was licensed and not so much the artists. And I didn't really like that whole shtick, and so Harley gave me a license directly, and then the, the painters, too, ended up getting their own license. And so I think we were kind of the first artists that were like officially endorsed by them. You know, commercial artists, of course, have received their you know, backing and all that kind of stuff, but not for just like the sake of going, that guy's licensed, you know, usually some kind of print or work or something like that, you know. So it's, it's been neat. Got it? All right, cool. Thank you so much. Sure. Do you do a personal tour?